hello guys welcome back to another kotlin programming tutorial in this video we are going to learn about what is the purpose of abstract classes in kotlin abstract classes and interfaces are the solution to implement data abstraction in kotlin abstract classes cannot be instantiated that means it is not possible to create an object of abstract classes abstract classes contain both abstract and non-abstract methods and variables Abstract variables are nothing but variable without declaration. Abstract methods are methods without body. So now I'm going to show you an example that will demonstrate how to implement and what is the actual usage of abstract classes in Kotlin programming. So first here I'm going to create an abstract class. So here vehicle is a normal class. Now I'm going to change this class into an abstract class. An abstract class contains both abstract and non-abstract methods and variables. So first here I'm going to create some abstract variables. Uh, fuel, that is a string type. Now create another abstract variable number of tires that is of integer type so here we have two abstract variables now i'm going to create some abstract methods show fuel type this is an abstract method now create another abstract method number of tires so here we have some abstract variables and abstract methods. Now I'm going to create some non-abstract variables and non-abstract methods. Variable maximum speed. Specify maximum speed into 180. Now I'm going to create some non-abstract functions. So maximum speed. Now I'm going to add one more non abstract function. So power steer. So here we have an abstract class that contain both abstract and non-abstract methods and variables. Now create another class called the car. And this class extend our abstract class called the vehicle. So uh, when you extend an abstract class, you have to override all the abstract variables and methods so in this class we have abstract variables like fuel number of tires and abstract methods are show fuel type and show number of tires so we have to override all these things so uh, implement these members we have to override these two variables and these two functions so here get getter and setter methods are available I change fuel into this is car so fuel type is petrol change number of tires into six four okay so now uh, we have to override this function show fuel type fuel and display the variable fuel and here we have to display number of tires number of tires ok 
so now I'm going to add one more class change class name into truck change fuel type into diesel change number of tires into 6 ok now from the main method create object of these two classes first we can print information about car now create an object of that well, object of that class now we can call it functions show fuel type show number of tires show maximum speed show power steer Now we can print information about truck. Change this one into truck. Okay, now we can run the program. So here is the program output. <coughs> so this is how we implement and this is the use of abstract classes in Kotlin programming.